Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel, The MK Lady. Well, as you can see in my new setup, I do have my purses stacked differently. Now, yesterday I did I Am A Mess 2020 collection, spring and summer. So here they are right here. There is the pink grapefruit, the grapefruit, and I always forget this Coach Charlie. Oh, that bugs me. I, I remember Coach a lot more than I remember. I mean, I remember Michael Kors more than I... Coral. It's called the Coral Color. And I don't know. I just have it in my brain because they look so much alike. Like the pink grapefruit. Now, the Safiano leather does look a little bit different. If I were to actually move this year's pink grapefruit to the coral color. This one has a little bit more orange tones and then this one has a little bit more of a, I guess like a peachy tone, I guess you would say. And oh, that's the pink grapefruit right there. So I did also have another question from one of my subscribers about the chalk, Coach Chalk, as well as the Coach Light Cream. Now there's not much of a difference I mean, I can grab them right here. So that is the chalk. And then this is the light cream. Like you can barely tell. This is a little brighter. As you can see, I'm trying to put it towards the light there. But it is a little brighter, but it's it's like it's so similar. Like there's not much, not much to decipher between the two. So if you're deciding between the coach chalk and the Charlie in light cream. Not Charlie. Hamilton. Why am I? It's Monday. I've been mixing up my words all afternoon, all morning. So anyways, we'll just move on from that. So that is the new setup. My blues are down here and then I have my grays right in there. Grays Okay, I should just move on from this because I am struggling. Oh my goodness. So these are my neutral colors. And I did get a question about some neutral pinks and ballet oyster fawn. Okay, we're done with that because I do have a purse of the day and I did forget this bag when I did. I'm going to have to remove a few, but it is... Oh, the tag is still on. We'll just stick that back on because I'm using it today. So since the tag is there, I should actually show you. So it's the Charlie Coach Charlie Carryall in the color Mist Silver Hardware. And it does have the signature C's. As you can see, the, it, the sides are the smooth leather. I'm just going to stick that back in there. I do have it stuffed now. I don't know if you can tell, but it's kind of lighter color in the middle. And then it kind of like varnishes or tarnishes. I don't know how you say that word, but it tarnishes out the sides. It goes darker. So that is kind of a cool feature for this bag. I do love it and it does have the long adjustable handles and a really good step strap what is going on with me strap drop oh my goodness okay so this is not going to be a very long video because yeah i am just struggling right now so outfit of the day michael kors watch i just got this in the mail this is a bracelet blingy bracelet from Ricky's I believe and in order to open it and close it you just take these two buttons not buttons but strings and then tighten it up or loosen it up there it is kind of funny to wear like to tighten it you kind of have to hold it like this so and then just some Hilberg and Burke blue jewelry just a t-shirt from bootlegger, black leggings, and a blazer last year, I believe. So I'm five, five and a half. And just to show you, 
what it looks like here. It's just, it's quite a roomy, spacious bag. It does hold a lot. And actually, let me just grab my measuring tape and I can show you. Now it doesn't fit my laptop. I have my measuring tape right here. So carry it on the crook of your arm. It's a, it's a work bag, no doubt for sure. And it's quite structured as you could see. So I will go ahead and show you what is inside because I have it stuffed and it is heavy. So I do have my nine and a half, nine and a half inch tablet and that fits nice and comfortably on the side. And I did actually put my phone and my sunglass case in the two side pockets so right here put those on the chair and then Michael Kors wallet fits comfortably I also got this from Ricky's and it's a it's a little case for sunglasses now I thought it would be a good little case for other carrying other essentials I mean, I will still use it for my my sunglasses, but I think this is still cute to carry other items. So, on the inside, you do have the Coach Creed. It's quite spacious and roomy. And this at the bottom down here, it slides back and forth. So, it's this is not attached to the bottom. So things can slide. So I'll go ahead and show you the measurements of this bag. And my neighbor is just looking out his window, wondering what the heck I'm doing. But you know what I'm doing. So we're good. So across the bottom is 13. So it's, it's quite a wide bag. And it's also quite a tall bag, but it's not heavy. It's not heavy whatsoever until you put your stuff in it. So top to bottom is 10. And side to side is five and a half. So it's definitely bigger than I would say, just grab a Salma in terms of comparison. It's more like a tote style. So, and if I were to grab the Mercer, it, Mercer's taller and the Charlie is wider. There's that. And I would say that would be all that I would compare it to. So I'll go ahead and put all these stuff back nicely. I mean, you could take, whoopsie, I'm just actually going to grab my work binder. So this is my kind of work binder. I want to see if that fits actually. And it doesn't fit lying down. It would fit standing up. So that's just if you're going to be using this for work. So we'll go ahead and put that down there. Just let it kind of hang. And get my iPad in there. And the iPad can stand up or lay down. And then you have also have this big open zip compartment if you like. So that is all that fits in there. It's quite a substantial bag. I do, do really, really like it. So that is the bag of the day. Now, show it one more time. I do have a sneak peek unboxing. Now, I want to talk to you a little bit about it because people were asking me, why did I start YouTube or how did I start my collection? What did I do? for my collection. Oops, that kind of lamp was bugging me there. 
So I started my collection with guests and you know, a few guests here, a few guests there. And at that time, we didn't have a whole lot of money because all my kids were in sports and were being, you know, clothes, food, everything, three boys, three boys in hockey, no money for mom. So now they're all grown up and they're all starting their own lives on their own. My, my baby is 18, turning 19 in a few more months. So now I have the extra money and I started like, like I really liked Michael Kors when I started liking purses, but I could never afford them because you know, 200, 300 was like so much for our family budget. But now that it's mostly just me and my husband and I have a little extra room to do, get clothes and makeup and my main focus is Michael Kors bags and that's how I started and that was about five years ago I had a couple Michael Kors from Kijiji and I still have some of them because they're good bags they last and last and last I did have a couple coach in the past but those have moved on from my collection because a lot of things do move on from my collection some of them are real long keepers and some of them are short keepers and also what was the other question Oh, somebody was asking me about how um, I shouldn't be doing YouTube videos on purses and how I should be don donating all of this money to um, food banks and with the situation on in the world. And to be honest with you, I do that and I do give to people in need, but I don't need to speak it out in my YouTube channel because that's not what this is about. This is about the purses and the makeup and the clothes. It's not about bragging about anything else and I'm not bragging. This is just my collection. If you watched all my videos, you'll see how much of a purse fanatic that I really, really am. I love purses and I love them for a long, long time. I started my YouTube channel. It's going to be uh, coming up two years. I believe is it two years or no it's a year and a half because my actual when I actually started was October um, two years ago so yeah a year and a half October will be two years but I wasn't monetized till the springtime so super excited for that like it's gonna be I'm gonna be coming up here for my monetization actually no my monetization actually came up anyways We'll get on with the story because I do have an unboxing for you right here and it I it is for not for me it's for you one for me one for you so I have this beautiful baby right here and that's quite the color and quite the the beautiful bag but this one is for you and the reason why it's for you is because I almost reached my 5,000 subscribers. Like, I'm so close. I'm like 4,945, I think. So I need like 55 more subscribers. So tonight's unboxing is going to be your unboxing. And you've already seen some of the details of this. It's in the pebbled leather. And I want to say the color is stone blue so I'm super excited for that one so tonight at 7 p.m. Central Standard Time because I'm in Saskatchewan the middle of Canada and I will be doing a live chat and this is the bag of the day so please give this video a thumbs up because you know it helps in the YouTube ratings the algorithms all of that jazz and tells YouTube that Hey, she's okay. <laughs> so that is all I have for you today. So thank you for watching. Please subscribe to my channel, The MK Lady. Also, don't forget to hit the notification bell because every time I upload a video, you will get notified. Have a great day. Bye.